Hello, Booktube. My name is Linda Jo Martin, and on Booktube I'm known as the Book Lady. Today I am going to tell you why I am no longer a full-time van dweller. So I got my van in May of 2019, and my intention was to move into it and live there full-time while traveling. And so by July 2nd, I was actually sleeping in my van, living in it, and traveling during the summer. And then I went back to Idaho to clean out my apartment and put things in storage. And then I came back to California, Northern California, just south of the Oregon border, about 20 miles. And my intention was just to stay here a couple of weeks because it's like my home territory, my hometown sort of place in the middle of the forest. And I was going to stay here for two weeks. However, well, let's say I got here on October 12th. And on October 20th, it was only like eight days later, I woke up early in the morning and I could tell that the Holy Spirit was talking to me. And it was like plain language. I could hear him saying to me very plainly that I should stay in this town. And so I was kind of appalled by that. I wanna to read to you what I wrote about it in this journal right after it happened. I woke up to a message from the Holy Spirit to say to me to stay in this town this winter. It was a long transmission and I don't remember it all nor do I want to tell it all in writing, but that's the essential thing. Do I obey the Holy Spirit and spend the winter here in the cold or do I go ahead to Arizona for warmer weather among strangers and probably miss out on good things the Lord has set up for my future? I think the choice is clear. I need to stay here, but this terrifies me because I'm not prepared for the chill. Or maybe I am. I need to trust the Lord, and I thank him for his still small voice that speaks guidance to me. I am grateful. Now I know why he said a few days ago that I need to know I'm about to do something difficult, but he will be with me the whole time. I need to trust this. He will be with me no matter what the weather is. So I asked him, what about the van build, which I already paid a non-refundable $75 for? This is something that was happening in Parker, Arizona. Holy Spirit told me, be glad you're not there. It would cost me a lot more to drive down there than to pay someone to install the fan locally. The $75 can go to help another person get in. Not a big issue. I'm more concerned about paying space rent here, but I can when I embarked on this journey. It was with the hope that the Lord would speak his guidance to me, and now he has clearly, and it was to do something I did not expect, plan, or want to do. But I am determined I'm going to do it. So I chose to stay here in the Klamath River Valley, and I didn't really intend to be here because I wanted to be in Arizona where it was going to be 70 degrees all winter in my imagination I thought it was going to be and here is quite a bit colder and there's snow and I didn't have insulation in my van and I was going to be very cold and I knew it and I, I don't mind van dwelling during the summer when it's fun but in the winter when it's cold it is very miserable and I did put insulation in the van while I was here this winter, but still not very warm in there. So I wasn't happy about staying, but I trusted the Lord. And within about a week, my daughter called and said that she wanted to move back here. Well, she was up in North Idaho too. So she came back, she asked me to find her a place to live and I found a cabin for her within a week. And she really is happy to be back here. And then in December, a friend of my son's offered me this property at a price that I could afford. So I bought this land and 
then before you know it, here comes the coronavirus and I'm supposed to shelter in place. And wouldn't it be awful to be in a van trying to stay safe from the coronavirus without really a place to live? So I feel very fortunate. The Lord knew in advance this coronavirus was going to happen and he wanted me to stay here where he knew I was going to be safe. And I feel very loved and taken care of by him. And I'm sorry I didn't get to go to Arizona. I didn't get to go to the van build. I was going to go to the RTR, the Rubber Tramp Rendezvous, that is hosted by the man who wrote this book, How to Live in a Car, Van, or RV. And I was going to go down there and be part of that and then go visit friends and my sister and yeah, I had all kinds of plans. I was going to go to Texas and see another friend and then go up to Ohio and work in a charity that I know of there. But I believe with all my heart that the Lord didn't want me to do that. And that is why I am still here in the Klamath River Valley and why I am no longer a full-time van dweller. However, I will probably go travel again when it's possible, when there's no coronavirus uh, epidemic happening. I can go and possibly get someone to house sit for me, or if I have the renovation of this place done, I can rent it out to somebody else. So those are my plans for the future hopes dreams or maybe i'll just stay here the rest of my life i don't know i figure if the lord could tell me so plainly and clearly to stay here then if he wants me to go someplace else he can tell me as plainly as clearly as he did so that is why i'm here and i'm not van dwelling full time anymore, but I haven't completely given up the idea and I do hope that I will be traveling as soon as possible.